Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks a lot for your continuous support and encouragement. If you are first time visiting my channel, I share interesting stories and concepts from the books I read. If you want to achieve success in your life, you should have a good mentor. A good mentor can help you cross all hurdles in your life. One of the best mentors in the world is the books which you read. With this interesting note, we will get into today's discussion. Today we are going to see an interesting story from Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad Poor Dad. I made an interesting video about the concept of Rich Dad Poor Dad and Robert Kiyosaki's first business idea. I have given the link in the top right corner. Today we are going to discuss is your home is an asset or liability. Let me start with a small example. A young couple after 5 years of working, getting married and moving to a rented house. They are getting regular promotions and increment. To reduce their income tax and avoid paying rentals, they decided to avail a home loan and buy a flat in an apartment. The new house is followed by a new car, appliances and furnitures to fill their new home. After settling in, they decided to get a kid. After a couple of years, if you look at their liabilities, it's completely filled with different types of loans. Now they cannot leave their job because they need to pay the EMI. Robert Kiyosaki mentions this status called as getting into a rat race. So what is my main asset? Asset is the one which puts money into your pocket. A liability is the one which takes money out from your pocket. There is a relationship between the balance statement which comprises of asset and liability and the profit and loss statement which comprises of income and expenses. Let me take you through the cash flow of the young couple. The income is through their salaries and their liabilities are filled with different types of loans such as home loan, car loan, personal loan and credit card bills. All these loans takes out money from your packet as a EMI, so they are connected to the expenses section. If you look at their balance statement, their asset column is empty. Is Robert Kiyosaki asking you not to buy home? No. His point is treat your home as an asset only if you are able to generate income, I mean profit. After deducting all your EMIs and maintenance, we generally think building and land as an investment. Let me take you through the cash flow of a rich statement before coming to a conclusion. If you look at the cash flow of a rich person, he got a different types of assets such as buildings, lands, fixed deposits, bonds, intellectual properties, investments in this company as well as other companies and he is able to generate income in different sections such as rental income, dividends, profit sharings as well as royalties. His income is always greater than his expenses and he is able to invest the profit in income generating assets. That's the reason rich becomes richer. I made a separate video on this topic. I have given the link on the description below. So what is the main difference between a rich and middle classes? Rich treats home as a liability, whereas middle class treat it as a asset. Now we'll get a question. What is meant by wealth? If I leave my job today, how long I can survive? Wealth is a person's ability to survive for so many days without salary. Let me give you an example. My monthly income is 20,000 and my monthly expense is also 20,000. So I cannot survive even for a day without my salary. If my monthly income is 40,000 and my monthly expense is only 20,000, I can survive for one month without salary. If my investments can generate 20,000 then I can meet out all my expenses even without getting salary. This state is called wealth. So try to find out different types of investment options which can generate income. I have given you the top 10 investments options in India as per the recent article from Economic Times. I have given the full details for the articles on the description below. So Robert Kiyosaki in his book Rich Dad and Poor Dad he gives an overview about the importance of financial literacy, difference between asset and liability, how to buy assets and how to achieve the state of wealth. Once you achieve the state of wealth, you can move from middle class to rich class. I will meet you next week with a one more interesting story. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and family members. We will meet you soon. Till then, it's goodbye.